Okay, um, now this is my uh, temperature uh, sensing project. Uh, just well, not really a project, just a quick uh, throw together, I guess, of a few components I had lying around. Um, completed it a few hours ago, um, and here it is. So, uh, not really much. Um, this uh, this is the temperature sensor here. Uh, it's the LM35DT, and a very very simple uh, device to interface with, uh, because um, it outputs uh, the voltage it outputs is linear so you can as long as you have a decent um, uh, analog to digital converter um, you'll be perfectly fine uh, and this device here does this is the uh, pick um, 18f4220 uh, microcontroller um, and is a quite quite a powerful device so um, you know can easily interface with this uh, and um, as you can see, the result is displayed on the LCD. Um, uh, the, the, this microcontroller is being uh, run at um, 8 megahertz, uh, which means that it has a instruction cycle of about two, or rather one, no, sorry, two two, mil, two million instructions uh, per second, because the clock gets divided by four for um, picks. <coughs> so. Um, as you can see here, there are really no connections being made uh, to this. This, all these orange wires here, uh, are um, connected to port B. Um, the first few lines on port A are being used, uh, firstly to um, uh, as an analog channel, um, and the other two are supplying uh, the one. One's one's being one's acting as a ground, and the other as a supply voltage to the sensor. Uh, all the ports on port um, C, uh, all the bits on port C rather, are being used to interface with the LCD. Um, and here, really, just have a small uh, LED indicating the power is on, and uh, it's being run via the Picket to um, programmer. Um, it's not programming right now, but uh, it's just powering the device at uh, 4.5 volts. Okay. And that's that's really it. Uh, most of the coding that went into the program was to interface with LCD. There was a small, uh, very small portion uh, to uh, uh, for the for the interface for the analog to digital conversion. Um, now the way this device works is that <coughs> um, it it changes the the sensor uh, sensor's output voltage changes with temperature. Now the output voltage is linear, and um, for every one degree change in temperature, the output voltage uh, changes by 10 millivolt. Now uh, you can do depending on the resolution of your uh, analog to digital converter and the supply voltage, uh, you can do a very simple calculation to determine uh, what the digital value, what you would need to do to the digital value to get it into um, de uh, degrees Celsius. And in my case, because I have a 10-bit 10-bit uh, resolution on the analog to digital converter and a um, 4.5 volt supply on the sensor, uh, which which means that um, I would require uh, I, I would I would divide the um, digital the the sampled value by 2. Point, about 2.3 to get a value in degree centigrade now just to demonstrate my hands are somewhat cold but um, just to demonstrate that uh, the temperature does change here we go and you can see that it has gone to 25 26 27 yeah okay and if I let go um, in a in a few minutes it should or uh, yeah, in a few minutes it should come back to its normal um, room temperature uh, as the as the energy that I've put into the uh, sensor dissipates over time. Now here is the code. Um, not very clear, but uh, here we go. Uh, so these are so the code's been written in C on this um, MP Lab um, ID provided by Microsoft. Uh, micro, sorry, microchip, rather. Um, 
here we go and the main program is really here you can see that uh, finishes around here um, there's a few functions uh, just to interface with the uh, uh, LCD and that pretty much is it uh, the only real um, coding used for uh, the analog um, to digital conversion is here and that's that's pretty much it. Uh, this device makes it makes it very easy to interface with with um, analog devices. Uh, plus um, the kind of the simplicity of the sensor um, and uh, the the you know the efficiency of C allows allows a very compact program um, to be written. And that is it. And as you can see. Um, you can see that uh, the temperature has now dropped again. Uh, it's coming back to uh, yeah, it's 23 right now, but uh, hopefully get back down to the normal temperature around 21. Okay, that's all.